Welcome back to Guts, the action sports show that asks, do you have it? Yes! We've got it today, the Extreme Arena heating up for our next event, but before that, it's time for Jamie the Jock to spill her guts, so Jamie, spill your guts. Jamie the Jock Beach is 13 years old. They don't call her the Jock for nothing. Better MVP in baseball, soccer, and softball. Jamie's motto, look before you jump. All right, and that is Jamie the Jock. Well, our next event we call White Water takes place right here in our guts pool, and we will be creating rapid water that our players will have to maneuver their rafts around. It's only going to take sheer strength and intestinal fortitude to make it through this. Let's talk to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, our players must maneuver their boats around two buoys in the pool. They must high-five the spotter at the end of the pool. Time penalties will be added for any violations. Best time wins. So, on your mark, get set. All right, looks like Mikey is getting ready to get through that buoy. And he is putting some serious arm strength here, folks. Bludgeoning the water with his oar as he makes it around. The second boy, he's making great time, making awesome time. There's the touch, and there is the finish. All righty, let's get the official result for Mo. Mike finished in 18.2 seconds. 18.2 seconds. Jamie the Jock getting in the water. Looks like we are ready. On your mark, get set. And there's Jamie the Jock. Like a jockey. In the saddle, she is in the water, making it around the buoys. And she has got to hit that angle properly. She's getting, getting her oar right around the, the front of that, having some trouble coming around. Maybe a penalty because she didn't make it around that first buoy. We'll have to check out. She's coming in for the high five. There was a stretch, an awesome stretch for Jamie the Jock as she made it through there. And you see her getting out of the pool right now. Jamie the Jock. Yeah, she's a little bit tired after making it through. Let's get the rules for Momo. Okay, I just got it from the judges. We have a two second penalty for not going around the buoy the right way. So that gives Jamie a time of 33.8 seconds. 33.8 seconds. The next player, Ansel, is ready. Mo. On your mark, get set. Ansel. Getting his paddle in the water. Gonna have to make up some, some good time. He's at about eight seconds right now. Nine, ten. He's gonna have to really cross that pool if he wants first place. All righty. Looks like he's at about 18 seconds right now, folks. He's going. Hey, if he doesn't back in there fast or get in there front ways, he just has to get in there. I don't know how he's gonna. There he is. There's the touch right there. The judge. All righty, so let's get the official time right now for Mo. Ansel finishes in 25.3 seconds. That puts Mike first, Ansel second, and Jamie third. Thank you, Mike. Some excellent water work right there in white water, making their way through the rapids. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to take a look at the leaderboard to find out what the score is. They did an awesome job on that water. It was, you know, it was kind of cold in there. But we got the scores right now. Let's go to Mo and check out where they stand. Mike, in the lead, we have Mike with 900 points. And tying in second, Jamie and Ansel with 600 points each. That is our water event. We got more coming up. But before that, Ansel, time to spill your guts. So Ansel, spill your guts. Action. Ansel Kennard is 14 years old. He likes to play baseball and hangs out on the boardwalk looking for a game. He admits to being a jokester. He once pulled his friend's pants down in public. And that's action. Ansel. All right. Well, he is harnessed up for our next game. Our next game is going to make you feel like Joe Montana connecting with Jerry Rice for a long bomb. The elastic cord will give you some help, but the aim's up to you. Mo. Mike, get the sound of my whistle. All three players will jump off the aerial bridge with a football in their hands. The object of the game is to get as many footballs through the tyres as possible in 45 seconds. Players must bounce on the ground before they throw their footballs, and the winner is the player who throws the most balls through the tyres. OK, on your mark, get set. And our players are ready and up. And remember, they got to get the aim right through the tyre. Imagine being able to jump right over the full rushing line of the New York Giants. 
and thread the needle as you hit your player on the long bomb. Well, that's what it's like here. That's the sort of bounce we got going up here. And our red player, Jamie the Jock, definitely thread the needle. We got 15 seconds left. Oh, oh, almost on that one. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up and over and over. Oh! As time runs out, our judges will now take a look at how many footfalls got into each of the tires. Let's go to Mo. Um, in first place is Mike with two balls through the tires and tying in second place, Jamie and Ansel with one ball each. There you All go. All right. Let's take a look at the replay. You got it, Mo. Let's take a look at the replay right now and look at Mike as he hits the ground and up and boom, just a little toss right into there. Michael, talk to me about flying on that one. How did that feel? Oh, it felt great. What, did you feel a little bit like Jordan being able to throw a pass? Yeah, it was real fun. All right, that's beautiful. You heard it from Mike. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. Mo. Mike, in first place, we have Mike with 1,200 points. Tying in second, both Jamie and Ansel with 800 points. All righty. And you think I got time to play football? No way. I got a mountain to climb. So you come with me. We're coming back. The aggro brag. Everything you want in a mountain climb and more. 